I start with this up here because this is a brand that we switched to about uh, two and a half years ago. Soundtrack of America made TV. We, we worked really hard with a lot of people to try to come up with something that was large enough to fit the entire state of Tennessee, but, uh, but broad enough to give everyone their individuality. In 2014, the tourism industry in the state of Tennessee meant $17.7 billion in economic impact. We collected $1.3 billion in uh, sales tax. We had a 101.3 million visitation level. It's the first time we crossed 100 million, put us in the top 10 in the nation in travel. Montgomery County alone, the mayor talked about the uh, fifth largest city, and then $202.43 million in economic impact that we can see from one county. You ought to be very proud of that. We are. So you got to have food. you got to have good things to eat. I asked Teresa, I said, this is impressive. This many people here this early in the morning. I said, how do you get this many people out here this morning? She said, well, we'll start off with feet. So, you know, you got to have food. you got to have good things to eat. I mean, look at this. See, I'm gluten-free. I can't have any of this. <laughs> my doctor, a couple of years ago, put me on this thing that, you know, I, I think my wife had something to do with it. But anyway, I mean, this, I love this. I may just leave this up here for a minute. I love that. Look at that. These are all partial pictures, by the way. Look at that. And then you gotta have dessert, of course. You can't have a meal like that and not have dessert. You gotta have dessert. You gotta have events. You have to have things to do. You know, places where people can gather and have fun and, and, and spend their time and, and do things and see things. Get, get out and, and paddle. Get out and I don't know why people do that, but I'm glad people do. You have to have places to go. You have to have things to see. The beauty, one of our pillars in Tennessee tourism are history, scenic beauty, family, experiences, and music. People love the beauty of our state. So when you're trying to build a workforce, you're not just trying to put a workforce together and for what you need now, you're trying to build on the future workforce. You're trying to get and lay the path and the groundwork for the future. Yes, they want the job. They want the good paying job. They want the job of benefit. But they want all of that other stuff for their quality of life. And that's tourism. That's why tourism development and economic development go hand in hand. So how do you do that? Well, you take all this information, see, and you put it all together. And you put it on this chart. And when it comes out on this other end, you have this nice clean chart that breaks up every generation. In one, and you know all you need to know in one simple chart. Boom. <laughs> The truth is, actually that's my bull, his name's Cornelius. Isn't he a good looking bull? He didn't do anything I wanted him to do. But the truth is, we have choices to make. And usually the choice is between what's good and what's good for us. The apple or the cupcake. So these are questions we ask ourselves in the department. What are we trying to do? What's the outcome we're trying to achieve? How are we trying to get there? What's our motivation? What choices do we make to reach that destination? That's the accountability. In reality, we're mining for gold. Now, you can do it by yourself. You can get a pan. You can sit out there and sit, get hot, sweaty, and hurt your back, and hope you get something in your pan. Or you can call in a few friends. I wouldn't want to sleep in a cabin with these guys, but, you know, at least you can call in a few friends. You can get the right equipment. Do it the old-fashioned way or get some new equipment in there. And you get everybody together and you get your story straight. And you're authentic. And it's authentic and genuine and real. And you hand off the parts of the responsibility that need to be handed off and you hit pay them. That's what you want. You want people to come to your area. You want people to love your area. See what you have to offer. You want to work there. You want to stay there. You want to vacation there. Because it's all perspective. Is it a six or a nine? We can sit and argue all day about perspective and how you look at things, but how does it fit? Because really, we all have stories to tell. What's your story? Why? Because tourism development is economic development. Get people to jump in the labor pool. Tell your story. Thank you. For more videos, Visit Clarksville now on YouTube.